Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. So on today's video guys, I'm going to show you guys how the new Facebook Creator Studio upload um, upload section works. So Facebook keep changing a lot on their platform and lately they have actually changed the um, look or the UI of the upload area. Actually, um, the UI of the Facebook Creator changed um, a while ago um a few months ago earlier this year but i didn't make a video on that because it's actually very easy to use but the reason why i'm making video on this particular um topic right now is that a lot of things actually changed the way they arrange things on your upload section uh really let me say this video is just all about how to upload on the new facebook creator studio upload section so um usually when you click on this section you can either click on this section to upload either a single video multiple video or you cross post the video on multiple pages and also you can also select this particular upload section and do you notice there are even more sections right here you can go live and there are even other um, icons or options it's actually the same thing with this one so anyone you choose to select your upload just click on upload video and then choose on the video you want to upload select that particular video and then go to the exact folder or uh, where you have the video saved and this is actually where i have my video saved so i'm going to double click on that and then i'm going to select the exact page where i want to upload that video which is actually ts tech talk and now you notice this area is actually the area where you enter the title of the video so right here i'm going to enter the title of my video which is how to check um no check your facebook page um facebook page l a g l a t status on creator studio um studio and then right here i'm going to press this and then i'm going to add facebook the reason why i'm adding this so that people will actually know that it's facebook creator studio not um not youtube creator studio so after i've added that usually i should add a description right here saying um um So um, writing a very good description actually have to do with your title and then if you do not add the title on the first line of your video is actually not going to make it to appear very well. So um, make sure you always do this and then I'm going to give a full stop, enter and then all right so i'm actually okay with this i'm actually okay with this um but the thing is if we are running this stuff right here if we're actually making use of this particular option right here um i always uh have to hold on if we're making use of this particular section, usually we do not have to enter it this way. You have to go to the next page before you'll be able to enter the next one and all of this stuff. But now, actually, the thing actually changed a little bit. So now, under this area, after you might have entered your description, the next option is for you to choose. Either you choose um, your suggested thumbnail because the thumbnail automatically generates right here. Either you select automatic thumbnail or you choose from a frame but i always use upload so just click on this upload to select upload but if you want to choose from auto generated just click on this forward icon right this area and you're going to see all of the automatically generated thumbnail so you choose anyone but i always choose upload so i'm going to choose upload image and i'm going to select uh, upload so um right here i'm going to go over to the um the image i actually created for this video so i'm going to select that which is this one i think i'm okay with that and then i'm going to go down to the bottom area you notice where it says show more click on that and you notice this is the section for tag 
guys no matter what you do please do not miss adding tag and always i like to add tag with um what i have on my title as first and then i add even more tag so i'm going to call this i'm going to add even more saying creator studio facebook so once you type it just click on enter to add um solid not enter just select that add button and it add so i'm going to add even more check money so um there is a typographical error so after you've entered click on enter um you can enter even more but just not to make this video too longer i'm going to skip that so the next you need to do is to click on next right here but for some reason my screen is not too wide enough so it's not displaying that then under this area if you want to edit your caption for your video um probably you want to enter a manual caption um click on this and then select setting under the settings you'll be able to notice it will automatically generate all of the caption in the video and if you actually do not want to make use of the generated caption in the video you can go ahead and edit or you notice there is an option right here you can just click on upload to upload that particular caption but i think i'm actually okay and so you notice right there it says accurate rating 34 slash um 834 words so if you're actually not interested or not okay with that you notice this area you can click on this area and then you click on download when you download it you can easily edit the word and if once you finish editing it you notice there is an upload right here you can upload this caption but most of my video are actually tutorials and most of them i actually do click click so um there is no need for me clicking that so um there is no need for me uploading um these particular captions because almost everything i actually pointed them um, by making use of this mouse so uh, i do not need to enter that so for but for you guys depending on whichever video you are creating uh, if you need to add the caption please do add it and when you add caption uh, facebook also recommend your video to more people especially the people that are not uh, making use of the um they are not making use of the video in the same country or th they don't speak the same language as you do so once you finish just click on done right here on the bottom section and you notice right now i'm using the auto generated caption so the next thing to do is to click on next and it takes you the next to the next page so under this area you notice there are even more video your video will be displayed to the, this um to the news feeds and you can notice it says it displays on show on watch so if you do not want that you can just deselect and deselect depending on whatever you want to do and also if it's a secret video you can go ahead and add as a secret video and it will be added as a secret video so once you're done with that just go ahead and scroll down um hold on um once you're done with that just go ahead and scroll down to the section where it says um playlist so um i always have to add my videos to playlist so that it arranges them depending on what the persons want to watch so i'm going to click under this area and it displays my playlist so the next i'm going to select this and then i'm going to choose the exact playlist where the video is actually going to be saved so since this is actually a facebook creator studio video i'm going to choose facebook creator um i did not make any video there is no playlist for facebook creator i only have facebook creator app there is no facebook creator studio so i'm going to create a new playlist so to create a new playlist just go ahead and click on create new playlist and this area will display so i'm going to call this um facebook create creator studio I have a lot of facebook creator studio videos but for some reason it's actually not displaying so um under the description just describe what you are going to be teaching them so i'm going to say so i did learn more things about facebook creator studio and i can also go ahead and upload the thumbnail if i want to but i don't think that is necessary and if i do not upload any thumbnail image is that for the cover is actually going to um make my first video the thumbnail cover so i'm okay with that so i'm just going to go ahead and click on 
create playlist and this playlist is actually going to be created so i'm going to go ahead and select that particular playlist which is actually facebook creator studio this is it select it and now it has been checked and if you want to select multiple playlists you can go ahead and select them but i'm okay with one so i'm going to select only that but because i'm also creating this is also uh, for facebook business page i'm also going to select that and uh facebook page okay this is also facebook page so i'm going to leave all of that selected but facebook creator studio is actually very different from facebook page but not um for me to confuse you guys so once you're done click on publish immediately after you upload the video guys it doesn't take long to actually display but most times it actually stick on processing so after a while you just need to refresh your browser or maybe close and open it back again and you will notice the video has been published successfully so immediately you click on the publish at that end um you wait for it and it goes on to publish your video but it doesn't always publish immediately you might have to wait for a while and then the video will be published easily and you can easily go ahead and share the clips with everybody or on different groups just about anyone on your group this is actually being added on facebook so you can notice there are some clips you can create and then share the clips but this is actually going to be a video for the next topic so guys if this video actually helped you please do not forget to smash like and subscribe to the channel for even more video and i'm going to see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace